Hi, Andrew. Very funny show. I was just like literally dying watching it. I want to ask you if you can first describe the pres the premise of LOL, Last One Laughing Canada for people who might not have heard of it yet. Yeah, it's really simple. Uh, 10 of the funniest comedians in the country are put into a house together. Uh, if you don't laugh, if you make it through, the last one who is, sorry, the last one standing is the person who wins 100K for their charity, which is incredible. But the the task of getting there is a mountain. Like these are some funny, funny people. So it's going to be tough. I was really impressed by you because you managed to keep a straight face when other people were like biting their lips or covering their mouth or one person even ducked around a corner, which was like totally against the rules. What's your secret to keeping a straight face when everybody is so funny? Honest, honest two, two, two ways. One, I leading up to it, I was practicing with my kids and my wife and we would do this thing where like we would like be playing downstairs and I would just like lay down and I'd be like, all right, kids, make me laugh. And, and my two boys would just do whatever it took to make me laugh. And I just like, I just killed my soul on the inside. I just like practiced really numbing that part of my body. Cause I'm a laugher. Like I love to laugh. And so it was just practice getting my wife to just like, give me cheesy jokes, all those things. Um, and secondly, it, this is a, <laughs> this, it's a really competitive reason, but I, I'm really competitive for charity and, and I'm a former nonprofit director and I, I knew where the money was going to go if I had, you know, if I win. And so I was just really fierce and I, I wanted the money. I want the money for charity. Which of your fellow comedians kind of made your heart sink when you saw them walk through the door? Because you guys didn't know who else was going to be competing, did you? No, no clue. And they were very secretive. I remember when we were like uh, setting up the day of or the day before they had like radios and be like, all right, hallways clear. All right, bring in number two. Like they, 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 they had numbers for us. No, no, nothing. Like even to go to the bathroom, I had to knock and they'd be like holding and they'd be like, all right, all right, number two, you can leave your room and go to the bathroom. We'll walk you there. Like it was so tight. So I, I had, I had made a little list of people that I thought were going to be in the house and I was wildly wrong. Um, they went out, a, 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 they went, they went big. They cast the net big for the best talent in this country. Uh, I will say for a fact that when Colin Mockery walked in, there was a moment where my heart grew because I love Colin. I hadn't seen him in a few years. Gave him a big hug. He's the first person I hugged. Like his first like, like, like non-family member I'd hugged in a long time. And then I realized, oh no, I'm screwed. And then when Tom Green walked in, I, I was really rattled and shaken by it because this is the guy this is my guy growing up you know and then you know caroline ray as well because i opened for her for 40 shows at the calgary stampede so the fact that i was i opened for her and now i'm even in the same room as her is pretty incredible you really livened up the show with your gags and i mean i was laughing so hard but i just want to say that there were surprise guests and i can't say who they were but I think one was especially meant for you. And I wanted to say that viewers should definitely tune in for that because <laughs> that was just hilarious for so many reasons. I want to ask you, was there any time that you almost cracked up but didn't? Like, what was the worst time that you almost laughed out loud or, or smiled? Because you weren't allowed to do either. Yeah, I think, so my favorite thing about comedy and like hanging out with improvisers and comedians is when we get to hang out so at the beginning of the game everyone's on edge like everyone's like their shields are up so it wasn't until like a little bit as we get comfortable in the space that you actually start letting your guard down you're having conversations with people you're you're on, in, on the spot nothing is prepared anymore and that to me was the stuff that was like just in the moment, off the cuff comments that people would say, like, that's the, one. I'd be like, oh no, wasn't ready for that. Whereas I think if someone was setting up an elaborate bit, it gives me time to say, all right, Andrew, don't laugh at this. But if it's in the moment, if it's Deborah Giovanni saying something in a chair, just out of nowhere, yeah, that's funny stuff because that's when we're at our, our funniest, when we are just being spontaneous. So that to me was the hardest part, the scariest part, yeah. 
when they served you lunch, did that throw you? Because you think lunch is like a time to just get together and yeah. And then, and then they were still, it still counted if you laughed or smiled during lunch. It, it really did. Like there was no downtime. The really, the only downtime was if we were in the bathroom and I will say respect to my fellow players, because everyone only used the bathroom time to go to the bathroom or to change. Like no one used it as a cheap cop out. Everyone was in and out. It was efficient. Um, lunch was, was odd as we're sitting there eating. I actually wanted to use that to my advantage because I felt that I knew lunch was going to be this weak spot for others and maybe I could try to get them. So, you know, you got to watch the show back, but there, I was shields up the whole time. I was ready to go the whole time because once again, a hundred thousand dollars for charity. So, yeah. How did you get started in comedy? Was there a comedian that you really admired when you were a kid? Well, Tom Green was definitely one of them because he was part of this, you know, generation where he had a video camera and he was going out and doing things um for me like will ferrell jackie chan uh adam sandler chris farley um the kids in the hall were really big as well i i started at the loose moose theater where bruce mccullough and mark mckinney started so having dave foley in the house was like an extension of that um uh, you know i just I, saturday Night live was big for me and, and so um that encouraged me to be a kind of a class clown. And then I started doing improv at the Loose Moose Theater Company, which is just what opened all the doors for me, learning how to fail and learning how to be on stage and being the best version of myself. That's how I got started in comedy. And finally, you're starring on Run the Burbs, which you also created. How different is that experience from Kim's Convenience? It, it's, it's very different. Uh, in the sense that, you know, it's a show that I created. It's a show that I, I'm, I'm writing. Um, uh, I, there's elements that are, that are, that are, you know, like related to my life. Um, and so it's similar in the sense that it's a family, it's a sitcom. We are trying to build the connection and relationship that I had with my co-stars on Kim's, but it's different in the sense that it's a different world. It's a different space. I'm the father now. So on Kim's, I was this like, slacker best friend you know figuring out himself growing up as an adult and then on run the burbs i'm dad like i'm the father now and it, it does really mirror my life because there was a point in my personal life where i stopped being kimchi and i had to be a dad and i'd be out on the streets you know with my stroller and people would be like damn kimchi got kids and so um you know, there's similarities and differences, but the similarities are the things I really want to be similar, like the relatability, the, the watchability, the connection to family, this idea of looking at a family that we haven't seen on television before. The differences are, are in the, the plot and where we are and, and, and elements of the comedy. Um, but all in all, it's like, I'm so humbled and thankful because the, the ability to have been on a show like Kim's and to make a show like Run the Burbs Now and to do a show like LOL Canada sandwiched in the middle. Like, like I, I shot this right as I was going into production for Run the Burbs. I, I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world. And when I look at this cast, I'm like blown away. Like we, it's embarrassing how rich we are comedically from comedians in the country that that or have left the country to pursue their careers but like we make some funny funny people and so I'm just so thankful on this run I've had in the last little while we definitely do that's what I thought about when I was watching the show is how many funny Canadians there are because they're they could do another show and have another 10 because there are so many really hilarious Canadians yeah yeah like my my list of 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 of, of people was very different you know, though K. Trevor Wilson was always on my list. I always felt like he was going to be on my list. Like he was always going to be in the house. He's just so funny and so lovable. Um, but uh, there's so many funny people. So I, I, I'm just so excited for, 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 for audience to see comedians in, in their element, you know, for us to see us, to see us vulnerable. That's the thing. Like we were, we're, I, my sense was that everyone was a bit worried and scared of, 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 of the competition in the room. So Thank you so much for chatting with me today. It's been such a pleasure. LOL, Last One Laughing debuts on Prime Video, February 18th. Don't miss it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap it now, plus the notification bell in the right-hand corner so that you make sure you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. 
while you're at it, hit the like button and tell me below in the comments, who's your favorite star? Who would you like to see me interview next? I'd love to hear from you.